Hello again guys and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Uh, myself, today and Fyodor will, uh, will elaborate on a certain question which we received from uh, our customers uh, for, uh, regarding on our emails and uh, it is about mounts with adjustable windage. So basically, Theodore, what does this actually mean uh, and what does this actually mean with, uh, when, you, when it comes to mounts? Well, today thank you for asking. Uh, this is a really advanced topic. Um, if I just start with what windage is and what elevation is. When you have a rifle scope mounted on a rifle with mounts, then we zero it with an adjustment of <coughs> elevation, which means up and down, and on windage, which mean, means left and right. Uh, however, sometimes we need to adjust the windage on the mounts themselves, not on the scope. Mm -hmm. The reasons for that can be that either if you have a rail on the rifle, it can be due to gunsmithing problems or something like that, that the rail is not mounted in parallel with the, with the rifle's barrel. It can be a little bit either to the left or to the right and then it can happen that even if we apply all the available windage adjustment to the scope, we are still not in the center of the, of the target where we are shooting. So in such cases we need mounts with adjustable windage to adjust the windage on the mounting solution itself uh, and to, I would say, to eliminate this problem. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so that basically means that you can adjust the point of impact left to right in this direction, in horizontal mm -hmm. plane, on the mounts themselves, not only on the scope with the, with the turning of the windage turret. Mm -hmm. That so means actually that you can move the, the scope left and right with the mounts themselves. So this is basically the general uh, benefit of uh, those sort yeah. of mounts. Yeah, it is true also that only expensive mounts have uh, uh, adjustable windage because all normal mounts which go on Picatinny rails and so on, they're all fixed. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they are <coughs> aligned with, on, the, on the surface, uh, let's say on the Picatinny rail and that, that's it. If the Picatinny rail was mounted sideways on the rifle, you're not able to adjust the problem and you're not able to eliminate the problem mm -hmm. with, with normal <coughs> fixed uh, Picatinny or any different mounts. Mm -hmm. But if you buy expensive, more sophisticated mounts, they almost all feature uh, windage adjustment. Okay, I can see uh, we, we have some mounts here like mm -hmm. pivot mounts, uh, roll-off mounts. Yeah. Uh, do all mounts have uh, adjustable windage or are all mounts adjust mounts with adjustable windage? Well, if we are talking about pivot mounts, all pivot mounts are, have uh, adjustable windage. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are talking about rings, two-part rings for the Picatinny rails, only some of them, the same goes for the uh, slip-on mounts on different dovetails. Mm -hmm. This one is for 12 millimeter dovetails for break barrel rifles. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see here it clamps 12 millimeter dovetail it has a recoil stop. Some of such mounts have the windage adjustment. So how is the windage adjustment done? I will show on this slip-on mount first. The first ring is in a hole and it can be rotated left and right. The rear ring is on a, on a different uh, the hole is not rounded anymore, but it is like an oval shape. So the rear ring can go left and right, while the front ring rotates around its axis. Mm -hmm. That means that there is no additional tension to the scope, but you can still point the scope either, either left or right, because the rear ring has some uh, possibility to go left and right in the, the base itself. How is this done? The, the hole is, uh, has a shape of an oval and of course on, on each side there is a small screw and this screw with this screw on left and right side you position the ring exactly at that position you wish to, to have it. Uh, the same goes with the two part, two part uh, rings for the Picatinny rail. The first ring is in a, in a round uh, hole which can be rotated only like this but it's always in the same position, while the rear ring can go left and right, like this. I can see now it's in, at completely, I think, left side, now it's on the right side. <coughs> so how do you do it on a rifle? Let's say these are Picatinny rings, mm -hmm. you just put them on Picatinny rail, like this. Okay. 
And then what you do, you, you take a screwdriver or, or a hexagonal key, which is the right one, which fits into the, into the um, screw, which is made to position the ring. And now you just adjust the left and right position of the ring. So basically it's just the rear ring you're, uh, yeah. you're adjusting. Yeah, it can go left or right. Mm -hmm. I will, I will show, I hope uh, this will be visible nicely on a close-up. Um, you see that the ring is going now to the right side of the, of the base. And if you have the scope mounted inside, the first ring will rotate in that direction. There will be no tension on the scope, but you will get vintage adjustment. <clears throat> Technically, you could uh, you could rotate with this hexagonal key uh, about 360 degree degrees out of this ring, or just for this certain uh, certain. Amount. Yeah, it's only for certain amount of, of um, for certain amount of uh, of, uh, of of movement. Yes, so yes. you're not able to 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 mount a scope, let's say at uh, uh, at 90 degrees. Uh, um, Looking at the yes, of at the plane of the of, of the rifle's barrel, but right. you can still go a little mm -hmm. bit left and a little bit right, and this is this is the the main point, so that you get the point of impact exactly at the right uh, mm -hmm. at the right <coughs> spot at the target. So if we go further with uh, with pivot mounts, pivot mounts have this by default. All pivot mounts in the world have vintage adjustment. You see, this is an Ernest Appel type of pivot mount. Uh, it's a copy of Ernest Appel. You have a, on the rear ring, you have a screw on the left side and screw on the, <coughs> on the right side. And again, with these two screws, you're able to move the ring left and right, and you're getting mm -hmm. the vintage adjustment. Uh, with Ernest Appel type of pivot mounts, this is really easy. You just take uh, a normal screwdriver, you can, and you can <coughs> adjust the vintage. With this, Rake Nagel type and MIK is the same and Henneberger is the same mm -hmm. type of pivot mounts. It's a little bit more tricky because you have uh, this small uh, spacing here in between. We say this is a spacer mm -hmm. and this spacer, uh, it's actually, it's not completely rounded, but it's uh, again, it's, it's not in the center. Mm -hmm. So if you rotate this spacer, the ring again will go left and right. Not much, but enough so that you're able to adjust the windage on the mount itself. Because the main idea and the goal is that you adjust the windage on the mounts in such a way that only a couple of clicks more are needed that the rifle is zeroed, or even none. So that the scope's reticle is in the optimal central position. So you don't need to apply many clicks because we all know that more clicks that you apply on windage or on elevation, uh, the bigger is the chance that the scope will not hold zero or, or that the grouping will not be so tight as it could be. So the best properties of its scope are in the center of its elevation and windage range. So if you are able to zero the scope, at least in windage, in horizontal plane, so that there are no clicks needed to be applied on the, on the turret itself, the grouping will be as tight as possible. Mm -hmm. So in many, in many cases, this is the preferred way. So you adjust the windage on the, on the mounts if, if this is the possibility, and then you adjust only elevation on the turret. Mm -hmm. So for which, uh, for which types of shooters would we recommend such a mount? Well, basically most of the mounts that we see here are for hunting, mm -hmm. uh, because they're they're produced for hunting rifles. In tactical, uh, with tactical rifles and tactical mounts, um, it's assumed that majority of Picatinny rails and tactical rifles are already aligned with the barrel, mm -hmm. so that no, I would say, major windage adjustment are needed. So also the mounts with uh, adjustable windage are not needed. Mm -hmm. So for, for tactical rifles, you can use just fixed mount, one piece mount or something like that, and it will work well. But on hunting rifles, and especially on old rifles, which wear uh, all the drillings, uh, all the drilling on the receiver was done by gunsmiths and so on, where mistakes can happen mm -hmm. and where there is a, a lot less accuracy by making these uh, holes on the receiver than compared to the, yes. to the rifles where this is made in the factory. 
uh, at such rifles, mounts with adjustable vintage are much more suitable. Mm -hmm. Let's say for honest, uh, honestly, here in Europe there is really a lot of old Mauser rifles, even from the First and the Second World War and so on. And all of those rifles were produced without the holes on the receiver. So right. <coughs> those which have holes on the receiver now for the mounts are mostly have been done at gunsmiths. And many of them have mistakes, they are not completely aligned with the barrel yeah, and so on. So for such rifles, mounts with the adjustable vintage are almost a necessity. So uh, basically these mounts are made by the most premium manufacturers yes. there are uh, and in terms of mounting. In most cases really expensive. Yes, of yeah. course. Uh, is it possible to adjust uh, this windage elevation on mounts um, when, when shooting or only in statical position? Uh, I would say no, you just set it once, yes. um, preferably in a, in a shop or somewhere uh, and then when, you're, when you go and zero the rifle you just apply a couple of additional picks. On not the mark, yes. It's not meant that you would adjust windage on the shooting range, it's not meant like okay today we have a wind from, from the left side 10 meters per second, I will adjust the windage on the, on the mounts. No, this is done when the scope is mounted. Not uh -huh, afterwards. Uh -huh. Afterwards, you always use the turrets. So basically, you do, you do this only, uh, as you said, once and for only uh, for not very accurate. Um, yeah. Segments. When you have a problem with with mounting surfaces on your rifle, yes, then yes. you then you use the the mounts with adjustable windage and you correct that problem. Yes. But you still do the most windage adjustment on the rifle scope. Yeah. Normal. When you are shooting and when you just apply windage adjustment due to the wind, then you use the turrets on the rifle. Scope. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Fyodor. Thank you. Today. I think we covered most of the questions we received. Uh, however, if you forgot something, if you wish to add something or ask something more specific about this topic, feel free to leave a comment below or subscribe to our channel. Take care until next time. Bye.